black magic. The term evokes fear, curiosity, and fascination in many people. But what is black magic, and where did it come from? How has it been used throughout history, and what are its effects on those who practice it or fall victim to it? In this documentary, we will explore the dark and mysterious history of black magic from ancient times to modern days. The origins of black magic can be traced back to ancient times, with roots in various cultures around the world. Ancient Egypt was home to powerful magicians who used black magic in their rituals and ceremonies. They believed that they could manipulate the forces of nature and the gods by using spells, curses, amulets, and animal sacrifices. They also practiced necromancy, the art of communicating with the dead, and used mummification to preserve the bodies of their pharaohs and elites. Some of the most famous examples of black magic in ancient Egypt are the plagues that Moses unleashed on the Egyptians in the Exodus story and the curse of the pharaohs that supposedly haunted the archaeologists who opened the tomb of Tutankhamun. The practice of black magic was also seen in the magical traditions of China, where it was known as Mo or Wu. The Chinese black magicians were skilled in divination, astrology, alchemy and medicine. They used talismans, charms and potions to influence the fate of people and events. They also employed the use of human and animal bones, blood and organs to create powerful spells and curses. One of the most notorious examples of black magic in China was the case of the Tang Dynasty Emperor Xuanzong, who was bewitched by his concubine Yang Guifei and her sorcerer An Lushan, who plotted to overthrow the emperor and caused a civil war that killed millions of people. The ancient Greeks and Romans also had their share of black magic, which they called Guetia or Maleficia. The Greek and Roman black magicians were adept in using herbs, stones, metals, and dolls to cast spells and curses. They also practiced love magic, which involved the use of erotic spells, potions, and amulets to attract or repel lovers. They also performed necromancy, which involved the use of corpses, skulls, and ghosts to gain knowledge or power. Some of the most famous examples of black magic in ancient Greece and Rome are the curse tablets that were found in various sites, such as the Athenian Agora and the Baths of Caracalla, and the legend of Medea, the sorceress who killed her children and her rival in revenge for being abandoned by Jason. The medieval period saw the rise of Christianity, which condemned black magic as a form of heresy and devil worship. The church launched a series of inquisitions and witch hunts to persecute and exterminate anyone who was suspected of practicing black magic or witchcraft. The accused were often tortured, burned or hanged, and their books and tools were destroyed. The most infamous example of black magic in medieval Europe was the case of Gilles de Reis, a French nobleman and companion of Joan of Arc, who was convicted of murdering hundreds of children in his castle and performing satanic rituals with their blood and organs. The Renaissance and Enlightenment periods witnessed a revival of interest in the occult and esoteric sciences such as astrology, alchemy, and Kabbalah. Many intellectuals and scholars, such as Marsilio Ficino, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa and John Dee studied and practiced natural magic, which they considered a way of achieving harmony with the divine and the natural world. However, some of them also dabbled in black magic, which they used for personal gain or malicious purposes. For example, Etienne Guibault, a French priest, performed a series of black masses with the witch Catherine Monvoisin for Madame de Montespan, the mistress of King Louis IV, who wanted to secure the king's love and power. The modern times have seen the emergence of various forms of black magic, influenced by the mixing of traditions and cultures from different parts of the world. Some of these forms are voodoo, santeria, hoodoo makumba, and palomayombe, which originated in Africa and the Americas and involved the use of dolls, pins, candles, herbs, animal parts, and human remains to cast spells and curses. Other forms are Satanism, Thelema, and Chaos Magic, which originated in Europe and America and involved the worship or invocation of Satan, demons, or other dark entities to achieve one's will. Some of the most notorious examples of black magic in modern times are the murders committed by the Manson family, the Son of Sam, and the Night Stalker, who claim to be influenced by Satan or other evil forces. Black magic is a fascinating and controversial topic that has captivated the imagination of many people throughout history. It has been used for good and evil, for love and hate, for knowledge and power. 
It has also been feared and persecuted, misunderstood and misrepresented, admired and despised. But what is the truth behind black magic? Is it a real phenomenon or a myth? Is it a force of nature or a product of the human mind? Is it a blessing or a curse? The answers may not be easy or clear, but the quest for them is certainly intriguing and enlightening.